coming to you with a hair review of my favorites and the best that I've come across curly bob wig yes that's what I'm coming with you today with um the company today that I am reviewing is cool and you were wigs I'm not really sure how to say this but you see it right here and you were wigs yeah then where it go know what it is um this is the actual packaging that the wig came in it came in another see-through black see-through black bag see-through bag it came in a see-through bag um and then a net around it you know the usual packaging that you get um then it came with a, a wig cap one of the netted ones you know the black ones that the fishnet looking ones um i don't use them on my head preferably because i just don't like how they look on me so i didn't use it i'm probably just going to give it to, to one of my friends or something you know because i'm not going to use it someone else might as well so yeah i have the hair on my head right now i have been using this hair for about three weeks i would say about three weeks um, just to test it out, see how I like it, you know, all of that stuff. See how I love the lace and the hair, how it's durable, things like that. Um, and so far, I can actually say I love it. Like, I have come up with barely any problems with this. Like, barely any. My pros always outweigh my cons with this hair. I have come with no problems that are, like, something I can't deal with, you know? Uh, so let me give you the stats of the hair. If you see me looking over here, it's because I got my list of stuff, you know. So, yeah, so this is a short curly bob wig, as you can see. Um, the hair is Brazilian. Um, it is a 13 by 6 lace front. Um, <laughs> it's a 13 by 6 lace front, um, 14 inches um i would say obviously because it's a bob the front is longer than the back that like, you're just going to get that with any bob it's just you know just how it works um the density is 150 i'll do a little spin around for you because my feet can't go all the way around so i'm gonna just you know yeah so the density is 150 i feel like that was perfect 150 150% density is just enough for this hair, I think. Because if it was any more, I think it would be just too much. Like, it would just be, like, too much in my face. Don't want all of that stuff. No, I like it like this. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Um, it is in its natural colour. Did I say it's Brazilian? Um, yes, I know. Brazilian, it is... Can... Brazilian hair can be unmanageable sometimes because um, I feel like it's the worst hair for curly hair in in some in some ways um, just because it's more it's denser it tangles more it's just like that I don't know that's just Brazilian hair in general but I didn't get that problem with this hair and I was very surprised because me i bought it and i didn't look at what hair it was because uh i was just 
you know i was sold as soon as i saw the website as soon as i saw one of the stats all of the reviews i was like hey i'm gonna take that chance like i'm gonna take it so when it came and then i realized it was brazilian i was like "Ooh, did i like did i mess up like is this gonna give me problems like i didn't know so i got it i used it and i love it so you know was it really a fail no this was a w this was a very big w and i'm very happy with this hair like girl what what are you telling me hmm? huh what sorry i can't hear you i can't hear you sorry nope can't hear you it's just so lovely like this hair is beautiful i feel like I, I feel like natural curly hair is very um it's very empowering for black women to wear and i feel empowered when i wear this i'm just like hey you can't tell me nothing i run this and that is how it's gonna be that's how i feel when i wear this hair it gives me so much confidence if you see me wear, wearing a straight wig i will not talk to you the same i'll be like <laughs> No, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. But, like, no. Seriously, really and truly, I love this wig. Like, people keep coming up to me saying, oh my gosh, you have such nice hair, da 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 da, da. But little did you know, it's not mine. Mm. <laughs> but I say thank you anyway, because that's just a nice thing to do. But, yeah, I just love that people come up to me and say, oh, your hair's nice, da 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 da. I'm just like, oh, girl, only if you knew. Only if you knew, huh? i mean what i love about it as well it doesn't look too wiggy but yeah uh what i love about this wig is that it looks very natural i mean i'm gonna okay the front all can you see i feel like i'm not okay let me move your eyes yeah so um the front all's all right I haven't had no issues with it mind you let me just drop this in because i'm very proud of myself this is the first lace front that i've actually been able to use because i've never had a lace front before i i have one other no actually tell a lie i have two other lace front wigs but i don't wear them as lace fronts because i didn't know what i was doing the hairline was like full i i plucked it but I couldn't work with it. I didn't know what I was doing. If I'm completely honest, I didn't know what I was doing. Ask anyone. I was always wearing them in the middle part. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have any, do any of the edges, anything like that. I didn't do that. I wore it as if it was a closure wig. And I feel like this wig was so easy to use. Like I didn't, I didn't feel like I was in a rut. I felt like I knew what I was doing. As soon as I got it, it was pre-plucked um as it actually did come as it was advertised and it was pre-plucked and i was very happy with that because um the two other wigs that i bought they said they were pre-plucked but they weren't pre-plucked so i still had to pluck it so but this one it was pre-plucked and i mean it was just you know ready to go from there like i knew what i was doing i was watching youtube videos on how to install it and all of that stuff like and then i actually was able to i mean this is the first lace front that i've ever been able to do and for it to look like this and if i do say myself it doesn't look too bad it doesn't look too bad would i go do someone else's wig and no because i wouldn't trust myself but i mean I feel like for me, I didn't do too bad. I'm actually quite like, you know, quite chuffed with myself if I do say myself. If I do say so myself. I don't feel like, I feel like I did all right. To me, I like it. I feel like the hair suits me also. I quite like curly hair on me. My hair, my natural hair isn't this, it's not as loose as this. It's tighter, like a tad tighter. And my hair is not this thick as well. It's quite thin, but it's manageable. But I prefer not to have it out in the winter because obviously I'm not trying to make it thinner. I'm not trying to make it weaker. I'm trying to 
strengthen my hair so then through the summer if i want to have it out i can have it out but the winter time the hair gotta go away because i want to protect it that's why i wear wigs um other people wear wigs for different reasons just because they want to because they can um some people do it to protect their hair me some people just do it because you know it's the trend right now it's fine um how much did i pay i paid the wig cost me 82 pounds and 56 pence in total the shipping was free and it came in two days two days i was very happy because usually when i order wigs they come in like three days four days i mean three days is not exactly like long but like for it to come in two days i was very happy with it because imagine like someone had to buy hair um but like say something went wrong with their hair and they needed to buy hair quick and needed it soon it's coming all the way from china and it got to me in two days two days that's really good if i was in a rush or i had something that i needed to go to like a wedding or something it would have got there on time and that's i'm 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 happy with that like i didn't need it for any sort of event or anything but i was grateful for the fast delivery anyway i was very grateful so thank you and why and why uh, and you were and you were wigs thank you very much i'm not sponsored by the way i paid for this this hair i'm not sponsored i'm not sponsored let me say that again i am not sponsored cool um now i'm gonna do my pros and cons um i've got it in front of me because i knew i would forget it if i don't have it on the top of my head or if i didn't write it down so one of the pros is that the wig was properly pre-plucked that's a very good thing because for someone like me who's new to the game um, and doesn't really know what they're doing, it makes it easier if it is done for me. So then like I can practice and I didn't need to pre-pluck it, um, pluck it anymore after I got the wig. So I was happy just have it how it was. I was able to you work with it how it was. I just didn't want to have to do too much to it because I wouldn't have known what I was doing if I'm honest. I probably would have ruined the wig and I wouldn't want to do that. No one needs to waste their money, nor should they. So this wig is good for you if you're a beginner because it's all pretty much done for you. You just put it on, do a little boom, out the door, done, you know. Then the next pro, oh girl, the next pro is that the wig looks natural. I love a wig that looks natural. Nobody buys a human hair lace wig for it to look wiggish. No one does that. If that was the case, then why buy human hair? Might as well buy synthetic if you want it to look fake, you know? So I'm happy that it actually looks natural because I've seen some and I'm just like, uh, yeah, nah, I don't want that because like the curls be stiff, they ain't moving, all of that stuff and I don't want it. So no, I'm happy with that. Then the next one is the, the lace is silk, so it's softer on the skin. Now me, I have very sensitive skin. So I can easily break out to anything, anything at all. So say the lace was to be a different material or anything like that to be structured differently, it could irritate my skin. I could end up with spots or it will become sore or red or whatever, but you'll definitely see it if I was to be allergic to it. So I was very happy that I went three weeks with the hair and I didn't have any reaction because I don't really want to be dealing with all of that allergic reaction business. Nobody does. But I was happy that the lace was silk because it's just soft on my hair. Plus, if I do um, wear my wig to bed, I haven't got to worry about it rubbing against my edges because the lace is, the lace is silk. Um, so I haven't got to worry about my edges being taken away because the lace is rubbing against it, all of that stuff. And I moisturise my hair underneath daily, so I don't have that problem. Uh, you'll see in, a, see in a future video of me applying my wig on, 
well i don't know when i'll do that but i'll do that but you will see that my hairline is basically a shape up <laughs> there's no way to like you know be nice sugarcoat it all of that stuff it is a shape up it's a man's shape up it goes straight like well not straight but like a curve like that then it goes out to like about here you probably can't see it because i've got the wig on and i'm like like gelled my hair back but i have like sweeps that come out from like here to here like that then it goes back in then i have my sideburn area and then it goes back in so i've got literally a shape up hairline so wigs oh my goodness wigs are so annoying especially lace fronts because the way you have to cut the lace to make it you know sit on your head properly and sit on your hairline properly goodness me honestly it nearly put me off even wanting to wear a wig a lace front in the first place because i was like why do i have to do all of this just to wear a wig and then i got this wig and then when i was cutting it i didn't have any issues because they plucked the hairline sorry that was nasty did you see that they pluck the hairline so when i'm cutting it i can kind of imagine you know my head like my hairline so i was so like i was like this is easy i've got this but i'm saying that now but watch me get another wig and i'm like and i do what but anyways but this wig is good it did what it needs to do um and another pro i have is low maintenance it's very low like if i was to wear it overnight all i do is i spritz the ends and then i use this brush where is it oh it's right here i use um the tangle teaser brush um i use that on my ends when i wear my wig overnight if i don't wear my wig overnight and i take it off and i put it on my wig my wig head over there then i'll use a wide tooth comb like such like such and spritz my hair with water again and comb it through um i never get any snags or anything like that when i do that so yeah this hair does not shed at all it doesn't shed like whatsoever unless you're literally dragging out the hair it doesn't shed i've washed this hair about three times now and it hasn't shed while i'm washing it like obviously you get the one-off like strand just because of the fact i'm washing the lace front uh because obviously i'm using force to get the gel out of the head of the lace front so you're guaranteed to use lose about one strand of hair so that was that um, other than that, I didn't lose any clumps or anything like that. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I feel like it's mine. Like, that's how much I love this hair. I feel like it's mine. Like, when I'm washing it and all of that stuff, because my, my hair doesn't personally shed when I wash my hair. Um, I used to think it was weird, but now I'm not too fussed about it. I'm just like, you know what? Not hair, all hair's the same. So, yeah my hair doesn't shed so when i'm washing this hair i'm like oh this is like my hair like it behaves it does what it's supposed to um uh one thing that i do do when i'm looking after my hair i do do <laughs> um when i'm looking after my hair what i do is i put a little bit of virgin olive oil in my hand i'll put like a little a little amount like this much that much then i'll rub it in my hands and then i'll put it through my hair and then i'll spritz some water again to seal it and then i'll go through the with the tangle teaser um or i'll go through with my dem demnum brush um just to make sure that the hair is going to be curly bouncy shiny throughout my day and that usually lasts me maybe two days if i stretch it a little bit but yeah the hair is amazing now on to the cons dun, dun, dun. the cons um i feel like this one you'll get it with any wig 
any wig there's no wig that you can tell me that does not do this every single wig does it and that is tangle at the back tangle at the back every single wig does it you could not tell me different if you telling me different then i'm sorry you're not wearing wigs <laughs> no i'm joking um if you can tell me different you know prove it to me i want to see this i want to test this so if you know that there's a wig that doesn't tangle at the back please let me know especially a curly hair wig because i would love to see you lie i would love to but the next con is ooh, this one's a little bit of a biggie but i mean i got over it like the second day so when i bought this wig right it said 13 by 6 so i have a 13 by 6 lace front wig already and it is 13 and 6 all the way back all around the front six back this wig um it is 13 but then it's only six inches back in the center so it's like it starts from like here and here goes back six inches that's it that's all oh, pardon me that's all it didn't bug me because when i got the wig it was in a side part and i didn't know any different i didn't i did until i like looked on the inner side of the wig i didn't know that it was only the center that had uh the parting space I mean you still get the 13 inches and then like a little bit you know going back but the main six inches is in the middle um so when the side part was done it was done in a way that you wouldn't know like i didn't know until i looked on the inner side of the wig it's not really a problem because you can just like do like do it on the farthest edge of the middle part and then like do like a swerve sort of thing so it's like less this side more this side you could easily work it out it's not exactly a problem so yeah those are my only cons because it kind of cheats me off a little bit but i'm over it now like i'm happy with this like i can do what i like to it i can do a middle part or i can just have the whole thing back um and then like i can just like you know judge it any way i want to so yeah thank you for watching that was my hair review on emua wigs and yeah thank you very much for watching me tune into my next video you know i hope you like it thank you for watching the video um hope you like comment and subscribe hope you like this video if you like more videos on reviews of hairs please let me know down below um and yeah if there's anything else you want to know about this hair or anything like that i'll put it in the description box if anything i left out please let me know down below also and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye